you want that lady when the goal is for all ladies to be the best versions of ourselves. And if you happen to be a mom, be the best mom ever and maintain your sanity while we do it. Read books. Still give good looks. Go, go on and work it, lady. Yeah, that's how you work it, lady. It's never know I maybe this is how you get it, baby. Work, work. All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining me in another episode of the podcast. This is a beauty podcast. Okay, so thank you so much for being here today. If you are listening on podcasts or if you are watching on YouTube, um, it is about that time for an Ipsy bag review. Um, I started doing these, I want to say like two months ago, I did one or two, and then I never did another Ipsy bag review. So this is the January Ipsy bag, and it's a review. Obviously, um, I got this like right before Jane, when did I get this? I think it actually landed in my mailbox like... I don't know. It might have been the last day of December. So they're very prompt. So that's one thing I appreciate. I like the packaging here. I'm going to give you a review of all the products that I've tried. I will say, though, keep in mind, typically when I do a review, I do more time in between receiving the item and reviewing the item because I want lots of time to try so I can give you guys the best quality review possible. Um, the stuff in here was stuff that is pretty straightforward. You either like it, love it, or you don't. And so um, I felt pretty good about going ahead and jumping into this review. So first, let's kind of do a little bit of an unboxing. Okay, this bag is very plush. Um, it looks very fancy. Um, they probably did it for this time of year. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of these colors. Like I don't, I don't like this color green. I think I own like one item that's this color green, but everybody tells me I look good in this color green. I'm like, I don't know what y'all talking about. Like this forest hunter green, I'm not feeling, but what does that have to do with anything, right? I'm still happy to have a free bag. This is a travel bag, three toiletries in there, you know, keep all your stuff in there, whatever. I'm happy for a free bag. So no biggie there. Um, inside the bag, they give you, oh, let's make sure you guys can see this here. This nice little um, leaflet inside, okay, it says the year of you, um, and it just has some encouraging words there um, and everything, so in the back is cute too, it says girl go on and glam, so I really like getting the Ipsy bag, if you've been um, listening to the podcast, you may know I chose this bag because it is one of the most affordable, I want to say I pay 15 bucks a month for this, they are small sizes, sometimes the sizes are a little bit bigger, so then you're like, yay, bonus. Um, there are discounts if you want to do additional products. They, you know, you can get full sizes and all types of boxes and extra stuff. Like it goes on and on. But if you just want the basics and you know you want to kind of keep your stuff fresh, the fifteen dollar month Ipsy bag is a great way to go. I really like it. Okay. So um, they have this in there. It looks like it's just good. For and remember to use the calm cleanser to be exfoliated. And also, the thing that's nice about it is that you can customize your bag. You customize it to your skin type and your hair type. So I really like that. You can even pick the colors of makeup that you want. It's very customizable. Um, there are tons of bags out there. I'll be honest, I have not explored all of them. This is like the second bag I've tried and. This suits my needs, so I probably won't try any more because I, although I worked as a makeup artist, I'm like, I'm not a cosmetic junkie. When I find something that suits my budget and my needs, I'm like, I'm good here, you know? So, in the course of some of you sponsors out there want to throw me some free large items, then in that case, I would definitely be open to that, okay? Um, so, what's in the bag, okay? Um... They had this really nice, and I'm unboxing this. This is how it came wrapped, okay? I did try this one. I really like this. I just kind of dusted it on myself once with makeup. 
you know, you can kind of tell in an instant if this is going to work for you or not. And this works for me. I was like, ooh, I love this gold. I'm a gold freak. If you guys have not noticed, I'm just going to dust some of this here for a little bit of a highlight. Um, That's like my main thing. I'm just like, make me look more gold and more brown, you know, highlight my brownness and just throw on some gold. And that is a good way to do that. So I really like this. You know, you could put this wherever you want to. Okay. Um, it's great for an eyeshadow as well. And this is called formula Z. This is an eyeshadow. Um, and the name of it is I am talented. It's a mini highlighter, but again, you know me, I'm going to use this for more than one thing. I'm going to throw this, you know, I like to do a little bit of gold right in here. I'm throwing it there. I'm throwing it on the cheeks. You know, I'm throwing it on the nose, wherever I want to feel like I need to reflect light, I'm throwing it there, okay? So I love this for that. I love this for that. Um, good job, Formula Z. Was really happy to receive that in the bag. Now, there is another one here that I really, really liked a lot. Look at this box, okay? Look at this. Let me bring this over here so you guys can see it. This is super cute. Um, Trifle Cosmetics. This is called Eye Candy Highly Pigmented Eyeshadow Duo. This is really, really nice. Okay, let me just unbox this. Like the box and the packaging is very nice. Again, this was a quick swipe, swipe for me. I like purples and these are my purples that I like. Okay, and then make sure you guys can see that on YouTube. If you're listening on podcasts, hop over to YouTube and take a look at these goodies. Okay. Um, it's really cute. Uh, they call it also Shore Bay. So this is, you know, this duo together, which is like a reddish purple and like more of a plum purple, um, with that illumination to it. It's got a little bit of a sheen. It's not like a, um, high glitter, but it's got just a little bit of a sheen to it, almost like a satin finish with a little oomph. So I really, really like this and I was happy to have it in my bag. And again, I customized my makeup stuff. I've been getting this for three months now and I have not gotten any makeup colors that did not work for me. And I feel like that's worth saying because I am a brown skin tone. So if you're a brown skin tone, you know how that can be when you're getting like, you know, powder blue eyeshadow and like icicle pink lipstick that is going to look like trash on brown skin that has not happened to me with this box so i'm happy i'm actually getting makeup that i can use okay let's move it along this was another one um i did not open this one because i could look at this i have another liner um from this company so i'm saving it for when I need to open it. And I like these liners. Um, this is Vintage by Jessica Leibskin. Leibskin? Ooh. Um, it's a cashmere lip pencil in the color Mocha. Okay, Mocha. And this works great for me because it's like a neutral, but it does have a lot of warmth to it. Um, I had a color that was very similar. I have not tried this one on my skin yet. Well, I could just try it right now. Can I do that? I was like, oh, I have something so similar. I'm just going to save it until that one runs out. And then I'll open it so I'll know what's new and what ain't. But I can go ahead and give this a try right now. Let's do a little swatch with this. Wow, this is some really good packaging. I'm having a hard time getting this off of there. Okay. Um, hopefully, this will show up. Um, one thing I don't like about this that I'm seeing right now is that it's saying mocha, but this is a berry. And I always have this issue with stuff that's supposed to be neutral, that we like mocha or chocolate brown. And I put it on, I'm like, this is crimson and there's red in this. Like I want a true brown, like a dark brown. This is like a medium brown. It's a very pretty, pretty color. I will wear this for sure with um, like a pinky lipstick when I want just a little bit of um, depth to it. Um, it's definitely not in like the bright pink family or anything, but it is one of those browns that has a lot of... Um, warmth to it 
a lot of it's like got like a mauve undertone which is very pretty i definitely like this color i'm gonna wear it um i just feel like the name is a little bit misleading because when i think mocha i think like coffee brown with cream in it not with you know um a a mauve undertone if that makes sense right um, so I like this though. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Very pretty. Can I just say that I hate how close my camera is to my face right now? I don't like how close it is, guys. I feel like you're seeing all my stuff and I don't like that, but there was no way around it. Now, something else that was in there. First Aid Beauty. I had heard a lot about this brand and I am so glad that this has landed in my bag. Last month's box also had some first uh, aid beauty in it as well. I believe there was a mask in there. I can't even remember. I'd have to go back and look at my own episode to see because I can't remember. But I know that I have a first aid mask as well as a first aid moisturizer. And so now they have sent me a first aid. Let me see if I can get this up here, if it will focus. A first aid cleanser. Okay, I have tried these products over the course of three months. I have not tried this one, but so far so good. I really like these. To me, this is a line that has a lot of conventional ingredients. For example, you know, I do see like the um, the glycerin, the sodium coicol, um, you know, hydrogenated coconut oil. These are all very conventional things that you can find in like some lower end products. However. However, formulation is everything. How you mix all the stuff together makes a big difference. And I feel like the ingredients in this are high quality and the chemistry behind it is very good because I'm getting some great results with it. And just the order in which things are listed here, it kind of gives me some clue just from the, the knowledge that I have working in the industry and having my own brand. This is well done. Okay, so hey, um, I'm excited to try this. So this is a cleanser. Um, it is going to remove surface oils, makeup, dirt, and impurities. Can I tell you how much I love a mat a cleanser? Excuse me, that will also take my makeup off. Matter of fact, I only use cleansers that will take my makeup off because otherwise, what's the point? For me, I'm not trying to sit up here and cleanse my face and then, you know, first remove my makeup and then cleanse my face. Uh uh. Let's do all this in one step and give me all those good ingredients that I need in one step for my face, you know? Um, so I love that this also takes off um, makeup. I love it. I love it. Um, if you have any questions about this one, because this one I did not actually try yet, um, but I've tried their other stuff. Um, DM me anytime, drop me a message here um, on podcast or on YouTube, and I'll definitely let you know how I feel about this cleanser. Okay. Um, now, last but not least, I got two amazing other things. Actually, let's do this before I get into that. Let me give you guys just the, um, the stuff on this. Okay. Bear with me. All righty, so I got some sheet masks also, and that was really coincidental because I was like, man, I need some sheet masks. Like I hadn't had them in like forever, probably over a year because sometimes I do that. I forget about the whole beauty thing, right? Um, So these are amazing. Um, I got two of these. It's called Pink Wonder Jojoba Serum Mask, Jojoba Oil is one of the main ingredients of this. Now, typically I'm allergic to jojoba oil, but I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'm about to try it anyway, <laughs> which probably was not a good idea. Excuse me. I'm going to take a swig of water. Um, But I did it anyway. I was like, look, I'm at home. I'm not going anywhere. This stuff has some pretty good reviews and it was free in my bag. I'm about to try it and whatever happens, happens up in this piece. Okay. Um. I tried it. I love the mask. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about it. This is a K-Beauty mask. Um, this is Korean um, skincare, which I love. And, you know, you have to kind of sift through. There's Korean skincare and there's Korean skincare. Okay. This is like the latter. This is like the the good stuff. Okay. Um, there's like, you know, 20 cent sheet masks. 
you know, floating around Amazon or at like the dollar store and stuff like that. Don't buy that. Like it's, it's low end. It's Korean, but made in China. If that makes sense. I don't like the way that just sounded, um, but I'm going to press on. Okay. So anyway, I really like this mask. Okay. It's got the jojoba seed oil and it's got a uh, candelula flower extract as well. And they even kind of give you some of the like breakdown of how much is in here. Um, total though, they call this a pink wonder jojoba serum mask. Um, now what was interesting about this mask is that you leave it on a little longer. You leave this bad boy on for 10 to 20 minutes. I did not have any reaction. My face didn't itch, nothing. Um, it does have a good amount of water in it. Water is the first ingredient. And for hydration, sometimes having water as a number one ingredient is actually a very good thing. Now, some of the other ingredients that I thought was interesting was the matraca flower extract. Um, the, do, 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 where did it go? It has hyaluronic acid. I like that. It had potassium, hyaluronic hyaluronate uh -oh. um it did, did have glycol it's really not too bad um if it's done right okay um yeah it also had hydrogenated castor oil which i was afraid after using this was gonna make my pores look massive because when you have a mask or any product that has like a bunch of oils in it sometimes if you have large pores and oily skin it like Make sure pores look bigger. Like it, those little my you know molecules can get into those pores and they expand. I feel and they just make it look bigger. This has not happened actually. I feel like my pores are looking smaller. Okay, um, so I I give this mask two thumbs up. If you are watching on YouTube, you have quite the horrible sight um, of me here with the mask on. And it looks a little freaky. I look a little scary right there, but whatever. Um, it's one of those masks that is really, really thin. It's like a paper thin mask. Um, and it's very transparent. You can see your skin through it. And it just kind of looks like you have like a white film on your face. If you're listening on podcasts and you can't see the graphic. So I kind of like masks like that. So um, yeah, I thought it was interesting. And you guys are getting a... A view of what it looked like with the mask on, which I don't like the way that looks, but hey, whatever. Um, now, something else I like about these, I am keeping these because there is a ton of that serum left in here. And you know me, I'm always about um, trying to save some cash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this serum daily and just put it on you know, because you don't have to rinse this off. Some masks, you know, you put it on, they say leave it on five, 10 minutes, up to 20 minutes, whatever, and then rinse your face or do this or that. This you are going to just leave on anyway. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to waste all that serum that's in the bottom of this. I'm going to keep all this serum and I'm going to use it a little bit day by day. And it's going to be like giving myself a mini sheet mask treatment, right? So I suggest you do the same thing with your sheet masks, especially if you like them. Um, it was very nice that the Ipsy bag this month did include two of them. They, they are the same thing, but they gave you two. So I felt like that was pretty good. Okay. All right, ladies. If you have any questions about the Ipsy bag for January 2023, hit your girl up. Or if you are listening to this or watching this, um, and it's not January, 2023, guess what? If any of the products you have questions on, just give me a buzz, drop me a comment here, um, DM me. And speaking of DMing me, speaking of DMing me, if you have not done so already, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. Um, I post um, snippets, you know, and let you know what's coming up on the podcast, whatever's happening, whatever the episodes are, you will know first there on Instagram. Um, I also post fashion reels. Um, affordable fashion is something I like doing. And hey, who doesn't like affordable fashion, right? So I do that. What you won't see though, is me in your face every single day because I don't actually like Instagram, okay? You probably don't either. 
right? Um, so I won't be there for that, okay? Um, but you will see me pop up occasionally on there, you know, maybe once a week or something, sometimes more, okay? Giving you some good info. So please do that. Please do that. Go ahead and give me a follow there. Now, the other thing that I would love for you to do for me, if you are listening on podcasts, okay? Go ahead and subscribe on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred um, podcast service is. Go ahead and give me a subscribe there. Um, Go ahead and like the episode. That really helps me out. Also, if you're watching me on YouTube, hey, hey, girl, hey, um, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button. Drop me a comment and share. That would be amazing. All right, ladies, I want to thank you so much for listening to Work It Lady. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next episode. Nutrition is your new addiction. Go, go on and work it, lady. Yeah, that's how you work it, lady. It's never know, or maybe this is how you get it, baby. War, war. Like your body in the.